Hi everyone, so I've been a bit sick, that's why I haven't been on. I just thought I'd do this um, special video, now that I'm feeling a bit better, about my favourite fish medications, which I use to either treat fish issues or prevent. So, the first one we have here is this Sulfidum Ornamental Birds Treatment. It's actually for birds, obviously. Um, but it's basically a sulfur based salt that's used for cochidia so that was very effective in getting rid of um guppy wasting issue that um i was having for quite a while so that's used in birds to treat cochidia which is just a very small parasite and then this is um uh, my next favorite so this treats this one here this treats more wasting type stuff. So this was also for the guppies. Um, yes, it's very good. And I actually got a really big one coming soon. This one only had, I don't know how many tablets this one had, but yeah, this is really good to stop. So if both of these are good if the fish aren't eating. Um, and if you haven't seen any red worms coming out of them or like sticking out, these two are really good. And then this is um, the type of stuff I use for external parasites. So this is a good preventative. Um, I do dip guppies in that from time to time because that's a really pretty hardcore preventative, actually, that formaldehyde. Um, next one is fungus cure. This is either really good to add just at a low concentration as um, a preventative or as an actual treatment for... They can use it for eek, they can use it for fungus. So if my fish have anything sus looking on them, and I think it even treats ciliates too. So that's just got malachite green and acroflivin. And then I usually add some of this. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it seems to work well for me. Methylene blue to dye. Both, um, both of those are pretty much dyes, I think. That one's come from rocks though, malachite green. I'm not sure where methylene blue comes from, but very effective. And then I would say my favourite antibiotic is Furan 2. So this is good for if they have a bacterial issues. Um, I don't use that too often. Because it's a bit rarer to have those issues. And then it is good to do um, a little bit of a worming every so often. For fluke and tape worms. But I'd say I use these most often. And then Prime, it's very essential. It's not exactly a medication, but it kind of can be a medication in a way. Because if you've got a lot of ammonia in the water or nitrite or nitrate, it will kind of like prevent it from being toxic. Like it'll bind the toxic, toxic parts or um, well, the toxic compound in, um, into a non-toxic form. But then that will release after like 24 to 48 hours or something. So you've got to redose it if you're having cycling or like an ammonia issue. So yeah, that's my favourite stuff, I would say. So a bit of a difference in these two is, or oh, three, because this is kind of like the same kind of. So this does tapeworms, this does much larger parasites. And flukes, which are kind of like parasites which hang onto the fish and um, kind of like eat off them. And, and this does for very small parasites, very tiny micro parasites. Oh, I forgot what they're called. <laughs> Microsporidia? No, it doesn't treat that. Um, no, I forgot what they're called. Just cochidia type ones. Um, and then this does of like ones which are like. Let's see what it says. Does ones which are. Cryptobia and um, basically flagellated parasites, but they're quite small. So spironucleus, cryptobia, spironucleus and cryptobia are quite similar, except cryptobia is kind of like a C shape almost. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video.